Hi there, here we have the 2020 BMW X6. This is the 3 litre X Drive 30D M Sport. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing you the vehicle condition. I'll also be showing you the interior and all the controls as we go inside the car. So, starting off with the front, as you can see, no sort of major scuffs or scratches. It does have the LED daylights, and then you've got your uh, Xenon headlights as well. Front parking sensors, you've got a nice black grill. 360 camera, so I'll be showing you all the, all the cameras around the car. As you can see, nice sort of scuffs or scratches on the front bumper. When it is nice and clean as well, so once again, no sort of major marks. It does have the beautiful diamond cut 22 inch alloys with your blue, as you can see just there, calipers as well. So the M Sport calipers, the M badge on the actual wings as well. Once again, your camera on the side, so it gives you a 360 view, bird's eye view. Alloys, no marks on any of the alloys, so I'll be pointing them out as we go around. It does have the air suspension, so you obviously can raise the car and lower the car as well. Full BMW service history, Rush Mills have done a full mechanical check, the full service, and a new 12 months and will be done at point of sale. Moving on at the back now, as you can see, sort of rear, no sort of scuffs or scratches. It does have the rear camera, the electric tailgate. See the nice spoiler, as you can see, blacked out windows, the tinted windows. It does have the uh, black sort of D-chrome, as you can see, so you can get them in chrome as well, so this was the old D-chrome. Most importantly, it does have the sunroof as well, the electric sunroof, the panoramic opening roof. A, a warranty as well as a 12 months breakdown cover so that all comes in with the price of the car you do also have the option to extend the warranty up to 36 months so this is something we highly recommend as a peace of mind right so moving on inside the car as well so it is unbelievable inside you've got the nice ambient lighting obviously not visible at the moment but during the night time it is unbelievable so obviously it lights up all here all along the dash you've got it on your actual um, panoramic roof as well you've got the m sport stitching on the actual uh, seat belts as well so full leather heated seats as you can see which are electric as well driver's side obviously has the memory seats as you can see nice wide uh, seats all nothing but luxury and comfort it's all leather on the dash no sort of marks it does have the uh, wide screen the digital cockpit which I'll be pointing out as we go inside. Harman Kardon sound system, so upgraded sound system in the vehicle as well, which is unbelievable. So I have tested out this sound system and I am really, really impressed. The rear seats, as I mentioned, obviously full leather as well, no sort of marks, does have the Isofix, does have the M Sport stitching once again. Obviously the panoramic roof from the back is obviously all visible. As you can see, it does have the little line, so that is all the uh, ambient lighting which shine on them during the night time. As you can see on that door there, it does have it on blue. You can change the colouring as well to whatever obviously you wish. It does have the electric uh, tailgate, so I am over, able to open it obviously with the key as well. So it does have the button just there and also it does have the button for you to lower the car if you are uh, carrying something heavy or needs need a bit more help putting the car anything inside the car so as you can see a very decent boot space and then at the back uh, obviously you can lift this up there's a bit more storage also you've got your locking wheel night in here as well now you can see what's inside your boots it gives you that extra privacy and you just press that button and that does automatically go down so all nice and beautiful it is the perfect color as well obviously the m sport uh, color interior blacked out as well so it all works really really well together as i mentioned no sort of marks on any of the seats it is pet free and smoke free so no sort of funny odors in the vehicle as well so it does have the memory seats as you can see just here you have the option to obviously um, unlock your boot from there electric filing door mirrors so this is actually an extra for bmw front and rear electric um windows controlled by the driver obviously you've got your lumbar support just here as well as your electric seats for you to adjust as you can see 
down below it does have the auto lights you've got your park lights here as well and then your fog lights let's move on inside the vehicle close this door so as you can see obviously the Harman Kardon sound system leather multifunctional steering wheel so you've got your cruise control on this side and then your buttons for your radio and your uh, trip as you can see just there all on the actual screen it does have the heads up display so unfortunately uh, you might be able to see it on the actual video itself it is very very um, hard to see but it does have the heads up display as well which can be switched off if needed to which is quite good so obviously with this you can actually um, add in more information obviously for you uh, when you're driving so your speed limits etc um, can obviously be added as well which is quite good so as I mentioned obviously this is all digital which is quite good once again uh, so it is got 11,325 miles in total uh, so mechanically still obviously brand new paddle shift so it does have the option for you to change the gears yourself as you can see you've got the negative and plus auto wipers and then obviously you've got your white uh, your indicators here it does also have the adaptive uh, headlights as well obviously auto lights as you can see just there Right, so moving on to the screen itself. So my phone is currently connected at the moment. So we're not gonna go on to like media or anything like that, just because it will interfere with this uh, video. What we're gonna do is if we go onto the actual screen itself, onto the sat nav. So as you can see, it's got a wide screen, which is quite good. Obviously you can zoom in and out of it using your fingers. So it's very, very nice and easy to work with. Uh, it's a setup map. Obviously if we go back onto the, out of here and go onto the media itself, so obviously you can connect it through mobile devices, which my phone is connected on Apple CarPlay. So you do not need to wire it, it is wireless connections on the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Screen mirroring, so obviously if you wanted to mirror anything on your phone to the screen itself, you can do that as well. Bluetooth audio, so if you wanted to connect your phone through Bluetooth, then obviously play music through YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, then you can do that as well, which is quite good. Let's go back onto the homepage and show you the communication. So obviously this is where you connect your phones uh, so that if anything, if anyone was to give you a call, it will ring up in the vehicle. Uh, you are able to answer, it also gives you the hands-free option. So you go onto mobile devices, go onto your phone, onto settings, onto Bluetooth, and then you connect it to the actual screen itself, which is quite good. Let's go onto the car. So at the moment it is on the status. Let's go on so this is all your uh, interior lighting. Let's start off here actually then. Uh, you've got your color, so obviously you can change your colors as well. So if you go lilac, obviously you can change it to obviously whatever you want it. Let's leave it for blue as it was. I personally think it's um, the best color, one of my favorites. You've got your climate comfort. So obviously where you want the air to be blowing, etc. automatic. Obviously your uh, climate control is here with all your buttons, so I will get to that as well. Uh, back onto the homepage, sorry, back onto the vehicle status. Um, so there we go on here check control so fuel reserve that's the only light that's on so we will top it up with fuel as well 100% uh, so everything is all okay so as I say we've done a full health check on the vehicle your service history let's go on there so on the 1st of the 7 uh, 2020 it had its first service second service 11 of the 4th 2022 and obviously we will do the um, the service on it as well so up to date full service history uh, moving on obviously down below it's got the climate control as you can see it is on uh, 19 as you can see now so if the driver is hot and they want it to be cold on their side they turn the temperature down if the front passenger is currently cold and they want it obviously hot they can turn their temperature up as well which is quite good uh, obviously this is your where you want the air to be blowing you've got your front demister rear demister just here heated seats for the driver side and passenger side so driver side on this side passenger side there we go just there right moving down below it does have the wireless charging as well so you can put your phone on there and it will uh, charge up your phone as well which is quite good you do also have the usb uh, insert as well there two cup holders you've got the 12 volts uh, insert as well just here engine stop start so it is keyless go it's not keyless entry um, so that is a good thing actually to be honest I prefer it not being keyless entry so it does um, help quite a lot when people are trying to steal the cars uh, so it is keyless go but not keyless entry so it's very very um, it's, it is harder to nick let's just say this uh, it is a lot more safer that it is just keyless go not keyless entry anyways moving on so your screen is controlled by your finger or you've got your control pad just here so obviously you've got your uh, buttons on this side and back and options etc you've got your uh, cameras on here as well so that's the one thing i did not show you yet so you've got your front camera 
obviously if you wanted to change your view so let's just go reverse for example you've got your rear camera you can obviously change your view here and then you've got your um 360 bird's eye view as well on here which is quite good obviously you've got your reversing assistance park assist and as you can see here you've got a lot of settings to help you park the car as well obviously it's got the um sports mode as well on the vehicle just put the car back in park and that goes originally back onto the actual screen itself so obviously you can change the uh the the driving experience on the on the vehicle so as you can see sport you've got comfort eco pro and obviously adaptive as well so obviously as soon as you change it to sport for example or comfort the air suspension obviously lifts up or lifts down or obviously gets in place for you as well which is quite good so your uh, air suspension is just here so this is your control for your air suspension obviously as you can see just there obviously you can lower the vehicle as well which is quite good so as you can see your stages are here another thing as well is it does have the um option for you to turn the volume up and down as well so if we go into media and let's just go 